Yes. Uh, you spoke about uh, the drug increase in Baghdad. Uh, and as we know, the drug uh, coming from Iran when uh, they visit, when they come to visit Iran, uh, to visit uh, Karbala. Uh, Smuggling. Before occupation, before, uh, before uh, American occupation, uh, Iraq, there is no, uh, no someone use drug in Iraq or they do. There was a trading. But uh, America had a big power. Uh, America can close the border between uh, uh, Iran uh, and uh, Iraq. Why don't uh, do that? Why? For oh, a uh, authority between uh, uh, Iraq and the American to damage Iraq? Of course. To damage the I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. To damage uh, uh, our young in Iraq? I was one of the members who uh, look after the smuggled narcotics, uh, you know, for years before the occupations. You know when the police and the, they capture these materials across the border from Samawa or from Nasriya or from Basra or even from the north. Then we have every three months, two months, you know, sometimes, you know, 50 kilos, sometimes 15 kilos. You know what's the rules there? They brought these things. There's a committee to deal with it. They show it to the president himself. This is the amount, all right? And they took it away. The member of the, 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 the member of the committee, all they had rank. They had to be all of them available before they burn them, so that they cannot be used or they cannot be, you know, uh, corrupted. That was the system beforehand regarding the narcotic. We were the least, the least, and the most clean country from AIDS and narcotic. I'm not saying we don't have, we do have, okay. all right? Especially in the, but we use the usual medication, like those used for Parkinsonism or something, you know, the Valium, Diazepam, in the prison. But I mean, to have such organized, this is the point, organized way of trading with commerce, this is the big problems. You know, have you seen in the videos, in the film, that Iraqi is selling narcotics to the American soldiers? You have seen it. If you want, I will send you the films and the videos. They come to the east, to the bases, the American bases, okay, on the fences outside at night, and they sell the, uh, the soldiers, the American soldiers, not good. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, is there a connection between the government and the drugs trading? There is a misuse. I mean, um, if you if you uh, catch people who are smuggling smuggling uh, those narcotics, then your police system is complete. I mean, you see big ranks with these police. They are not graduate of the police college. They are not graduate there. They are just they comes and put these ranks there, right? So I mean, what do you expect? If you give them money, they will dismiss you with your even narcotics. This is, the, this is what's going on. Otherwise, you see, 70%, 70% of the products in Afghanistan, of the opiums and narcotics, go through Iraq to the Gulf. Okay? So this is it's not my figure. This is the figure of WHO. So what? Is Sorry. So the government is involved. Directly and indirectly. Once you said Iran and America is, is are they in agreement to destroy the Iraq? Yeah. I don't know whether there is a written agreement, but the intention of both countries, of course, they want weak Iraq. This is the whole idea. Iran is looking to for a weak Iraq because they know that Iraq, strong Iraq, is will, will not be safe for them first of all, and it will be a border to introduce themselves to the, you know, to the Gulf. This is the, this is the whole story of the war. The state, again, the went, went weak Iraq, because the state is responsible for the Israeli, uh, you know, securities. And they know that Iraq is, is a strong country, 
Um, so, um, Iraq is a strong country by the size, its size, its size, its oil, and its government was.